Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy. I'm at CloseThatExplosion.com. The next time you come to New York, you are definitely welcome to visit. Today I'd like to discuss with you how to sell liquidation merchandise at a flea market. A flea market can be a great opportunity to sell a lot of merchandise. The challenge is that what happens is everyone is overwhelmed by all the different vendors that are selling merchandise. That's one challenge. So it's hard to spot the different merchandise that's at each vendor. And the other challenge is that there is an assumption that a lot of the merchants being sold at a flea market is gonna be, I would say, you know, middle or lower level quality merchandise. Now, there is a lot of high level quality merchandise being sold at flea markets. There's branding, designer merchandise. But if you ask most people what kind of products are sold at flea markets, I believe that they'll answer you either used merchandise or discount merchandise, generic merchandise, and so on. So how do you sell liquidation merchandise? The first thing that you have to do is you have to see what kind of merchandise do you have? What's the selling point of your merchandise? Are people gonna buy your merchandise because it is brand name, it is designer, and you're selling it at a discount? Is your merchandise impulse merchandise, meaning people will see it and then they'll be excited about it. If the price is good, they'll just take a chance and buy it. Or is it merchandise that's generic and you're just competing based on price? Maybe you're selling the same socks other vendors are selling, but you either try to sell it at a lower price or maybe you're hoping you know you have enough customers coming over that they'll buy some socks from you just as they might buy some socks from another vendor so you have to know your merchandise you have to know what is the selling point of your merchandise once you know the selling point of your merchandise you have to communicate that merchandise to your customers now here's the challenge how do you communicate merchandise when there's you know, the value of your merchandise and what do you have when people are so overwhelmed by all the different merchandise being sold so the most basic way, when I sold at flea markets, this is what I did and I found it to work, is you need to call out to customers. Call out to customers in a friendly way, in a confident way, because you don't wanna, of course, you, you, wanna make, you don't wanna put anyone not in a good mood, you want people to be receptive to what you're saying. So call out in a friendly way, just like you would be speaking to a friend of yours, just like you'd be speaking to a relative that walks by and you suddenly notice them. So if you're selling socks and you're selling say a dozen, pairs of socks for five dollars as people walk by you say hey good morning i want to let you know that i have a great deal on socks do you want to come over to look at them and you know what's going to happen people are going to be interested they're going to come over and if you're friendly they will remember you and they'll be like oh yeah i remember that vendor over there let me see what he has when i come next time or let me see what she's selling because she's such a nice person second thing you need to have either signs or i do recommend signs but either signs or some other way to showcase what it is that you're selling, meaning you wanna write on a sign, let's say you have brand name dresses, and the second thing you need to also showcase to people the value that you're giving them. So if you're selling brand name dresses and the brand name dresses retail for up to $200, you're selling them at the flea market for $30, you need to make it very clear to people what a great deal they're getting. You could tell them by, you know, by speaking to them, but I would also recommend you write it down so if people are walking by or they walk by a few times by your spot and the sign catches their attention, to look at the sign a few times, the more they read it, the more likely they are to, to, you know, first of all, to remember what you're offering and also to get attracted to your spot and to act on what you're selling. Another thing that I would recommend when selling liquidation merchandise is the following. Make business cards, make flyers, make it very clear what you're selling, what kind of stuff you're selling, and give out those cards and flyers to everyone that comes over to your spot. If they buy, great, give them a flyer, give them a business card. If they don't buy, it's, it's okay for the short term because you're gonna give them a business card, you're gonna give them a flyer, and hopefully they'll buy from you the next time they come. Try to be in the same spot all the time so people remember. So if they see a great deal and they hesitated or they didn't need it right then and they need it next week, they'll remember where you are. And uh, so that's all you should do on your business card if you can or in the flyer, make it very clear where your spot is so people know they come back to you. If you can't be in the same spot, it's a little more challenging. So include your phone number, this way people could call you up and say, hey, you know, I'm at the flea market, I'm at the you know, farmer's flea market, where are you, I'm looking for you. They call you up, you pick up the phone, you tell them what spot you're on, and then they're gonna come in immediately. So there are many ways to do it. Now once you are giving out flyers and business cards, or if, you know, if you're speaking to people, if you have a website, that's a great way to go. This way, if, even if they don't buy something from you right then, they could order from your website. And also, what I would recommend is Give them, make sure you give them your full contact information if you have a store or if you're selling you know, out of a warehouse. This way, during the week, they could contact you and they could also buy from you. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closeatexplosion.com. My phone number, WhatsApp number is 1917-913-6093. Have an amazing day.